And I guess the first thing that I would do that I would be concerned about is let's eliminate any possibility of ulcers on this horse. And he's got a nice, basically shiny coat on it, but for me, he has a little more darkness, a little more glow through his coat, shoulder, than he does as we come down into some of this. And let's don't think about this, but that coat is a reflection of what's going on in the interior of the body. And ulcers are one of the things that will end up making that dull. He also doesn't have the quality of feet that the other thoroughbred had. And that's another sign of ulcers going along with it. And so those feet are just another extension of the skin. And if we have internal problems, we're going to have problems showing up in the feet as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just run my hands through and check our ulcer points here. And coming down here, and you'll see what, I, what we had as far as reaction there. And I'm going to go very softly here because I think he's going to be reactive here as well. Starting at the top of the shoulder, coming down to the rib cage, tracing that on up to the thoracolumbar junction. And that's coming through a lot of your fascia, their heavy fascia in the back, and what's over the latissimus dorsi. So there we have that. And this is just the softest touch you can imagine here. And you see we have a lot of reactivity there. So those are my first two things that give me a clue that I'm looking at a horse who likely has ulcers.